Hello, my dear human beings. I'm gonna be totally honest. I've just been sitting in front of the camera for about like 30 minutes now. Um, just trying to figure out what I want to say and how I want to say it, but I don't really want to prolong this. So yeah, I'm just gonna say what I have to say and try not to edit this too much. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kind of nervous. Um, I have cinnamon here with me as my support, of course. Obviously, you guys read the title and it is not clickbait. So I am moving out of Japan. I wasn't sure if I wanted to make an entire video just dedicated to announcing this, but this is a huge move for me and it's taking up a huge portion of my life right now. So I thought it'd be kind of weird not to address it and to just continue making videos while I'm not living in Japan anymore. So here we are. <laughs> also, I obviously understand that this channel has become very Japan-centric and very much revolving around my life here in Tokyo. And that was never really the intention of this channel when I first started making videos pretty regularly last year. I've always been wanting to make video content and it just never really lined up until about last year when I finally moved out of the share house, got my own apartment, got a new camera. And when I started getting the groove of making YouTube videos, it just naturally progressed into showing my life and just showing glimpses into what my life is like in Japan. It seems like it was what most of you guys wanted to see as well and it's what I really enjoyed creating. So it was never really the plan, it just kind of turned into this and I'm so glad that I did because now I can look back on all these videos I created in the past year. Also, this is a really big deal to me that I'm leaving Japan. I've lived here for the past three years and I just wanted to document this and just see where my head was at, just see how I was handling all of this because I wasn't making videos at the time when I came to Japan. I was so stressed out at the time. I wasn't even thinking of like reviving my YouTube channel. I made a whole other video just explaining how I moved to Japan, why I did it. If you guys are curious, I'll link it somewhere up there. But I wasn't even sure if I was gonna like make it here and remain in Japan. So I wasn't thinking about documenting it, but that was such a missed opportunity. Oh, like I really wish I made videos at the time and I could look back on that because that was such a hectic part of my my life and I'm just such a different person today. But anyway, as of the day that I'm recording this right now, I'm moving in exactly one week. I'm gonna be moving December 1st and I'm not really sure when I'm gonna be able to upload this video. Um, I'm still working on some other ones. I'm not sure how fast I'm gonna be able to get this up because it's going to be a very, very busy final week. <laughs> of course, moving is a really stressful ordeal, but moving internationally, especially during these pandemic Lovato times, as you know, is gonna be <laughs> ultra stressful, really looking forward to this. <laughs> there is a lot that needs to be done. I'm gonna try to vlog this whole moving process and it'll be nice to look back on. But I know this probably seems really sudden and fast. I just didn't really know quite when I would want to announce this or share this. I mean, it just seems so official. And I didn't even really tell some of my friends until a couple days ago that I'm leaving. It's just hard to break that news, especially to people that you really care about here. And obviously I built a life over three years here and it's not gonna be an easy thing to come to terms with that I'm leaving all of this behind. But anyway, I'm sure at this point, a lot of you guys are just wondering where I'm moving to and why I'm leaving Japan. So um, I'm moving back to the US. I'm from Southern California. That's where all my family is based. So I'm gonna be going back, especially in time for the holidays. I'm so excited. I have not seen my family in two years. I know it's so bittersweet. I'm getting really excited to see them though. So yeah, I'm moving back to California and I guess I'll just kind of get into why I am. So I moved to Japan right after graduating college. I was only 22 at the time. Just being a hafu girl myself, I always had this curiosity and intrigue of what living in Japan would actually be like. Growing up, I would visit Japan here and there and I always felt a tie to Tokyo. So right out of college, didn't have many responsibilities, so I just decided to take that opportunity. I've shared before that I'm a Japanese passport carrier, so I wouldn't even have to go through the tedious visa process. So it just felt like something I would always regret if I never tried. But in the back of my mind, I always knew that I was gonna come here temporarily and just live here for maybe a couple years or so, and then eventually move my way back to the US. I never really had intentions of staying here permanently. Of course, I was really open to that changing. If I came 
came to Japan and realized that the lifestyle here really suited me. I could see myself settling down and having a family here, really building a life. Of course, I was open to that. But yeah, my mind just never changed. Um, I love living here and it's been so much fun. But I, yeah, just always knew that I would eventually make my way back. And of course, last year, 2020, when sh** hit the fan, that's when I really came face to face with figuring out where do I want to be, especially during such a chaotic and weird time like this. Last year, um, a lot of my friends that I worked so hard in like my first year of Japan, I worked really hard to cultivate these friendships and to feel a sense of community because as you know, being an expat is really hard unless you do have people you can really rely on. Friendships that I worked really, really hard on just kind of came to a halt because a lot of my friends friends were also foreigners who actually moved back home because of COVID. I think I forget sometimes or maybe I just like block out how intense and scary last year was. I myself was in like a really insecure position. The jobs that I had kind of shut down for a second and they couldn't even notify us like when they would open back up again. So I was really thinking about where I should be and with like most of my friends leaving I also was kind of feeling inclined to maybe go back because everything was so uncertain I didn't really know what it would mean for me if I chose to stay in Japan but ultimately I did because my job opened back up again also my relationship is here and by the time my work opened back up again I just saw how bad the situation was in the U.S. and it kind of felt like a better option to maybe stay put in Japan for a while maybe other people living abroad can relate to me on this or maybe people just living away from home and just being stuck where you are not being able to see family that really hit me hard like not having the option to book a flight and go see my family when I needed to really put things into perspective just how how much I needed them and just realizing that I do really need to be in close proximity to people that I love. I'm not to say in the future that I'm not open to living abroad. Maybe when the circumstances are different and we can travel more easily, maybe things will change. But right now with just the state of the world, I think it's time for me to be with my family and to go back home. I love Japan. I will never stop visiting Japan. I'm not even entirely sure if I'll maybe return one day. I don't really have a plan, y'all. I just need to go back to California, touch home base, and figure out where I want to take it from here. And I'm sure most of you guys know that I live here in this apartment with my partner, and uh, this is something really complicated, and I don't want to get too much into it. So even before we got into this relationship together, when we were just kind of in the dating phase, we both were really aware that we both eventually wanted to go back to our home countries. Mine obviously being America and his is Europe. So we always knew this. We even thought about like possibly stopping our relationship in the beginning stages because we're like, like, what's the point if we're both gonna eventually leave Japan? But we just couldn't stay away from each other. So <laughs> we continue dating knowing that risk. So we're both pretty confident in our relationship right now. We've been together for about two, over two years now. So we're gonna go back to our separate home countries and just spend time with family during the holidays. And we're eventually just gonna try to figure out um, how we can be together. You know, I'm really surprised I got through this without crying. <laughs> I think that's also why I waited this long. I wanted to make sure I was in like a good headspace to be able to talk about this because it is sad. Like, of course, I'm really excited to go back home. And just to be back in America in general, I'm pretty excited. Um, regardless of how chaotic the US seems right now. I know the reverse culture shock is gonna be cray cray. So thank you guys so much for just being on this journey with me the past year of making YouTube videos of my life here. I know that a lot of you guys watch this channel specifically for all the Japan and Tokyo content. So of course, I understand if you don't stick around, but I really, really hope you continue to stick around. I'm gonna try to still make videos. I don't wanna stop just because I'm leaving. And I'm already thinking about so many different video ideas of when I go back. I will forever be grateful for the couple of years that I got to live in this amazing city, in this amazing country. Of course, I recommend to you guys all the time, any of you guys that are curious to potentially live in Japan in the future, I highly recommend it. It's an incredible place to live. And I'm really glad that I was able to document this and just share my life here with you guys. <sighs> I guess that's all. As you can see, our bookshelf is already gone. We're getting rid of our furniture. There's quite a bit more to do. So look out for the moving vlog. I'm sure it's gonna be very chaotic energy. Thank you guys so much as always, and I'll see you next time. Bye.